Good day to you and welcome to another Paddocks Club tutorial. I want to talk today just a little bit about sectional title meetings and you'll see that this, uh, this tutorial is headed winning in sectional title meetings. Let me explain that by winning I don't mean beating somebody else, I mean doing things well, doing things so that you get an outcome you can predict, um, so that you feel that you are in control of sectional title meetings. I want to introduce you to an online course that is designed to give you the confidence so that you, so that you know you can run sectional title meetings properly. This is a course that has seven modules. It starts off um, with an introduction. And let me just explain to you what in the module one, one expects the outcomes to be. One would expect that after you did this, you would understand who can attend meetings, how to calculate quorums, who must chair meetings. You will be able to draw an agenda and the minutes of a meeting, understanding the concepts behind how that uh, those processes work. Um, in Module 2, we concentrate on notice generally and calling trustee meetings. The idea here in this module is that you should be able to know when and why notices of meetings are required. Also, be able to know what law and rules applies to the calling of meetings. Not all the law relative to meetings is in the prescribed management rules. There is common law that applies and in this course I unpack that so that you understand this thing much more thoroughly. In module three, we go on to general meetings, calling general meetings. And the idea is that you should understand when and how these general meetings can and must, in some instances, be called, what documentation is needed, where the meetings can be held, how to calculate notice periods and deliver the notices. Module 4 looks specifically at meeting formalities and the outcomes here are firstly that you should understand who can attend meetings, what their right is, the right of attendance, the right of, of, of audience, the right to speak, um, how to calculate quorums, who must chair any meeting and you will then be able to draw an agenda and the minutes of a, a, a meeting from that perspective. Um, you, we look at the chairperson's role and the outcomes in this fifth module is what rules govern a chairperson's role? What are the common law rules apart from um, what is said in the prescribed management rules? What is a chairperson supposed to do? How is he elected or she elected? What does the office require? And his or her duties and powers at the meetings. This is a very little understood um, uh, area um, where the prescribed management rules tell you they expect you to know the common law. Well, in this course, we unpack that common law so that you can understand how to be a a good chairperson if that is your role. And then we move on in the second last, that's module six, from debate um, yeah, to debate, from motions to resolutions. If the truth of the matter is that in South African practice very little proper meeting law is applied because people simply don't understand it. Um, and so here we take you through the purpose of meeting procedure, how motions must be formulated, the various types of motions and how the chairperson must deal with them. And finally, in the last one, we deal with voting and elections. These are tremendously important aspects and again little understood. We want you to understand voting procedures in the context of trustee and general meetings and finally the, trust, uh, the procedures for trustee and chairperson elections. Now we deliver this course in the form of a quick, well what is it? What is a quick? Well quick stands for know what I know about any particular subject. And if, for any of you who've done any of our online courses, the format will be reasonably familiar. There are videos in which um, I explain, uh, I give you an introduction to it, then there are notes. Uh, there are quite a lot of notes in this particular course because it's a big subject. And then there's a quiz, a self-test quiz, um, in which, which you grade yourself, uh, you, you, get, you ask questions. If you get the wrong answer, it explains to you why it's wrong. It's our typical teaching methodology uh, moved into a slightly different environment. In this case, as I say, there are seven modules that should teach you all about sectional title meetings. They include 139 pages of inches of notes, seven video presentations, and seven quizzes, one for each module. How do you get there? You go to paddocksfullstopquickster.com. No triple W, just paddocksquickster.com. How long does it take to complete? Well, it, our estimate is that the whole thing should take you approximately 363 minutes. Do your math, it's not a lot of time. Uh, when can you enroll? Any time. That's the point of these quicks. You can start immediately. You can do it this afternoon. You could do it next week. You could do it any time you like. And what does it cost? 
Well, it costs twenty dollars. Once off, that's uh, that's it. You have the notes. You can go back, and you have a period of a month in which you can carry on doing the quizzes and that sort of thing. So it's twenty dollars, whatever the conversion rate is on the day that you do it, and um, you are able, if you go to this thing, to actually preview the course so you can get a good look at it. I hope that this has been of assistance. Um, the area of the sectional title law of meetings is, I consider, a very important one. And I think that you would do yourself a favor um, if you went and did this course. Thank you very much.